If you're the type of person that likes to go to Milsim events that either last into the next day or last into the next two days, like if you're at a Milsim West event, well, you're going to want a good sleep system. This is one of those things that I find that a lot of players don't really think about until the last moment. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over my personal sleep system that I have slowly worked on over time, whether it's for camping or for Milsim. This is a system that works for me, and I bet it's going to work great for you guys. What's up guys, my name is Elaine and welcome to the BB Warrior. We're here to help you have a better time both on and off the airsofting field. And if you enjoy videos like this, if you enjoy the informative discussions that we do as well as our honest and independent reviews, well, I'd love it if you joined our community by hitting that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, make sure to hit that bell icon next to it to get updated when we post new videos every Tuesday and Friday here on the channel. So first off, why don't we talk about what I have in here? and then we'll talk about setting it up. So your sleep system is more than likely going to be in your rucksack. Now, the way that you organize your rucksack is you're gonna want what you're gonna be using the most on top. So typically, this will be on almost the bottom. Um, the only thing that really goes below this is an extra set of uniforms. So I'll have like, typically I'll run like my combat apparel, but if I have like a backup uniform or a field uniform, those will go below this, and then this will be on top of those, because I'll probably be going to bed more than I'll be changing out my uniform for the day. So typically this will probably sit in like the middle of my ruck, which is typically where the most space is on a lot of ruck designs. But I do have this in a compression sack and there is two pieces in here. So there are four main pieces that make up my sleep system. So actually five, I should say. Compression sack, because you're gonna to wanna to be able to compress everything down into a size that's manageable. Now I like to use these neon colors like red or blue or green as you can see here for all of my compression sacks because it makes it very easy to identify what's inside of each bag. So inside my sleep system is green, my extra uniforms are blue, and then my miscellaneous bags are typically like a red or a pink. So in here, in the compression sack, I have my Wubby and I have my Bivy. Um, so those are the two main parts. Those kind of make up my sleeping bag system. And we'll take a closer look at this in a second. But the two other things that I carry on my person for my sleep system, which we won't really focus on in today's video, are going to be a tarp, because you're going to want to make some sort of lean-to if you're sleeping outside, especially if it's going to be raining. A ground tarp, because you don't want to get wet underneath you if it is raining. And it's just nice for protection against critters and a little bit more coverage off against the ground and a sleeping mat, because if you've ever slept on a route, it's very, very uncomfortable, and that's the only part that you're gonna feel. So those are the main parts of my kit. However, for today, we're gonna be focusing on the bivy and the wubby. So all of those are stored inside of here. So why don't we um, open this up and take a look at exactly what I have in here and what I use as kind of my sleeping bag system. So let's take everything out of the compression sack and see what we have inside. Now this is just a cheaper compression sack that I got off of Amazon. If you're looking for a good one, Sea to Summit is a good brand for these. And they come in a variety of colors if you do want to do some organization like I do. So taking it out, I already have everything rolled up. You're gonna to wanna to roll it up because it's gonna help the compression sack compress it even better. But why don't we roll this out real quick? So what I have for a bivy is I have a USGI Gore-Tex one. So I like this because it's already Gore-Tex, so you don't have to worry about the rain messing with your kit or anything like that. It's gonna help keep you dry, and at the same time, it's also gonna provide a little bit of warmth. So this is the outside layer of my sleeping system. So once I open this up, I do have my Wubby in here. Now the Wubby is nice. Uh, I decided to spring for one of the multicam ones because they come with zippers, so it's more of a sleeping bag. But this is my actual sleeping bag here. This is just a protector for either rain or a little bit of cold. This is what's gonna keep me warm throughout the night. So even if it is a kind of cool May night, this will work fantastically. And if you're in the summer and it's not gonna rain, I'd recommend just using this. It's a perfect um, thickness where you're not gonna to get too hot and sweat while you're sleeping, but it's gonna work very, very well for you. And I just have this, again, inside of the bivy. So this is actually how we'll store it as well is I'll just throw it right back in the bivy. And then I'll zipper and button it up, roll it back up, throw it in the compression sack, and go play BB Wars for the day. So the only thing that I would change if I was actually out in the field, I'd have a ground tarp down, I'd have my um, body pad as well for a little bit of comfort, and then I'd have like some sort of tarp over me 
to protect from rain, doing like a lean-to system. But anyways, guys, that was just a pretty basic look at what I use for a sleep system in Airsoft. It's really not that complicated. You don't have to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on a sleep system or anything like that. Pretty much everything that I use is surplus except for the tarps and the sleeping mat. But that is really everything that you need to know. So guys, that was just a brief video on sleep systems for either airsoft or hiking. Now, something that I cannot stress enough, test your gear before you go out in the field. You don't want it to be your first time using your sleep system when you go to a Milson West event and it's raining and it's cold outside and all you want to do is go home because you're probably going to end up going home, which was my situation. Um, when I first picked up all of my sleeping equipment, I didn't try it out beforehand. I didn't practice making lean-tos when it was dark outside or anything like that. I got wet, I got cold, and I went home. And that's not what I want for you guys or I want for myself. So over the last six to eight months, I've been kind of tweaking this and getting prepared at it so that I can be as efficient when I get onto that BB Wars field. So just a reminder, guys, practice before you go out in the field. I know it seems like something that's really simple, but when you're cold and you're miserable and your back and feet hurt, well, you're going to be pretty lazy and you're not going to want to put any of this up. So just train before you head out. But that is really going to do it for this video, guys. I want to know, did you enjoy seeing these more in thorough of type of videos, excuse me, where I do a little bit different type of things, but it's still related to Airsoft? Make sure to let me know down in those comments below. And make sure to also let me know what you use for a sleep system if you're the type of player that goes to these larger events. Do you use something similar to mine or do you use something else like a hammock or anything like that? But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for staying until the end. Again, if this was your first time here, I would love it if you joined our community by hitting that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, make sure to hit that bell icon next to it to stay updated when we post new videos every Tuesday and Friday here on the channel. Make sure to also check us out on social media. Links will be down in the description below for Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm starting to be a whole lot more active on all three of those, and I'd love for you to join me there as well. Um, I also just want to say we will be doing a Q&A next week, so make sure to submit your questions down below for the Q&A, and if you have a good chance of it being featured, or you can send me a message on Instagram or Facebook. Those are the ones that I'm most active on. But anyways, guys, I know this has been a mouthful for an end card, but this has been Lane from the BB Warrior discussing sleep systems for Airsoft, and I will see you all next time.